Hey yo, what's poppin' you guys? It's your man Ricky David and I'm back at it again, you guys already know. So today in this video, we are going to do uh, plastic bags for your supplies. Uh, we're also gonna do uh, boxes as well on all your supplies. And when I say supplies, meaning your bags, your boxes, uh, nick tags, uh, label tabs, uh, label tags, my fault, um, for all your supply, all your brand, or also all your customization apparel. Um, those are into particularly uh, important for your brand is because when you put your brand out, it initially speaks for itself, right? Um, so this design is upside down is because it's facing this way. Obviously it doesn't have to face that way. It's because when, if we're not initially doing a shirt, today we're doing, testing out the poly bags, poly, uh, I mean, uh, boxes as well. Um, not no shirts, right? So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So um, I have my design, also have my website, also uh, social media links as well. Um, the reason that being is because it shows your product uh, your, as your as your brand uh, front. And then we also have the QR code. So once that's turned to the back, you get to scan it. If, if, if that makes it much more easier, that's why you got social media links. That's why you got the QR coding. Because QR coding obviously is gonna win the game is because we're moving, in, we're moving and shifting into a new uh, uh, design of when it comes to um, uh, artificial intelligence, right? Um, it's just a quicker, responsive thing. Um, so that being said, is that this is why you know uh, your your brand um, is is such an, is so much important to actually really put it on there is because that's how you're going to get your brand out a lot quicker as well. The more they see it, the more they see it, that's when it's a more eye candy, right? So now we got, boom, little tabs here. We can we can opt in quick quicker than anything else versus just filling out your information, follow when everything is strictly right there, all right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and move to this video um, and start testing out these bags. Um, seeing how it turned out. Um, so enough talk, enough said. We're going to get into this video. Man, before we do, I need you guys to like this video, share this video, comment below for any tips and tricks. Like I said before in the last video, I appreciate you guys already commenting. Those that like it, those that subscribe, have subscribed to the channel, man. I very much appreciate you guys, for real. Um, so one thing and for, for me is what I'm actually, like I said, is I'm building the full brand, not just only customization. We're about to start shifting, shifting, and moving back and forth. Um, and that's what I typically have to do in this channel. So as far as that, you guys will also see the whole journey from when I started um, up until, you know, the next years, the next months, the next days, when you can honestly say, yo, this is part of the journey, just as well as your guys is as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this video and then let's get the screen printing. Let's have some fun. And hope this, hopefully this year is the best one for all of us. So let's get it, guys. All right, so I have the bag here. Um, these are super, super popular for uh, my brand and all the customization is because you can apply this to um, a hoodie from, you know, small to uh, 3X and then so forth. But um, we're gonna just try this out, test this out. Um, we also have smaller bags than this, which would be this size as well. I'll leave it in the description below of what sizes I use and you can actually really, where you can actually really get them on Amazon, right? The reason why that being said is because I'm using the clear plastic only is because I want it to pop out a lot more. Um, later on, I will be starting to do um, frosted uh, bags as well down the line. Um, just kind of just want to start off somewhere different, right? Um, and then we also have these boxes. 
right? You can see the size right here, eight by six by six. Um, I also got the, the, the 12 by six by six as well. Um, uh, I don't have them with me right now, but I can always pull that in, in the next video. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just try these out, test these out and, and just go from here, right? So um, we got the inks right here. We got a sample box ink because obviously I'm just starting off. So we're gonna go ahead and run one color, which would be obviously black right there. Um, leave, leave this, I'll leave the link in the description below for all this as well. So enough talk, let's get right into it guys. place the bag on here again so we're gonna do it this way and as you can see it aligns with uh, the blue tape instead of it being out here and it's got a lot of white space still open the reason that being is because you can align it up just with the blue tape here and then as you're doing it the reason why this tape is here is because say if this comes off and it gets stuck to here it's more frequently to get stuck to here and then you're gonna be having a lot of hassle to deal with so I'm gonna go ahead and just test this out real quick see how it turns out See how it turned out. Pull this down a little bit. Plastic, kind of go up. All right. All right. So now we are getting somewhere. So as you can see, kind of looks like it's best to go bring down than it is to go up so I think it did come out a lot uh, the ink set out a lot more I think you got to do a few strokes on that for it to come out um, it is showing little um, like indents small indents or whatnot um, but I'm gonna figure it out like I said, this is all about testing it out. And this is how what the bag is gonna look out, look like. Um, it said a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep pushing. Um, still pull down, pull down on the squeegee. Um, actually, uh, what you're actually really doing. So when you're actually really striving to stroke down, it's, it's a lot better than it is to go up, um, my opinion. Um, that's the way I'm just gonna have to kind of get the more, the more uh, dense of the detail. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep pushing these bags and stuff like that. Um, Cause a, a few of them turn out pretty decent, um, but a lot of it, showed me which route to take whether if i was going to do a backstroke or or go forward so um it's either you're going to do a pull or a push right so um it all just depends on how you guys take it and how you guys apply for your action when it comes to screen printing so um these these are the bags and then i am going to show you at the very end of this video um, how they all turned out and you guys let me know in the comments below of how they turned out until then I think the last one it turned out um, a lot better 
Um, I'm thinking a lot more pull and a lot slower. That's how the bathroom is kind of turned out. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like I said before, this is testing. This is in a process of my journey, just as well as the people that are watching, that are trying to get in screen printing, that are trying to get embroidery, uh, DTF, DDG, um, just HTV, vinyl, whatever the case is. This is part of your journey as well, you guys, just as well as mine. So guys, do a few things. Is like this video, share this video, comment below for any tips and tricks. And like I said, man, I appreciate the ones that's already been doing it. Subscriptions, everybody's been subscribing, man. I appreciate you guys. And go ahead for the ones that haven't, click that uh, button right there, that subscribe button. You guys already know. Until then, we're gonna keep it pushing, keep pushing these bags and then boxes and then so forth. Until then, I'll see you in the next video, man. It's your man, Rick David, House of Dreamers, Entrepreneurs, Small Business Owners. Keep pushing your vision. Keep your vision alive. God bless you all. Let's take action in this year, 2024. Let's get it!